Midweek Madness again with Rehan and Hasna. And we have a new guest today. This is one of those interviews that we were like totally worried about. Because yeah. <laughs> this guy can literally out talk us. And we're like, what are we going to ask him? He's going to probably outsmart us. So let's just play it by ear. Anyway, so we got Dhananjay HR in the studio. Dhananjay is a management consultant and an HRD specialist, a speaker, and also a corporate trainer. How's it going? Like, whoa! Dana <laughs> Chetty in the studio. Like, whoa, man! <laughs> oh, what? Things are good, right? I mean, uh, it's been a great year so far. Uh, first two months have been uh, great because we just embarked on a new project. Mm-hmm. We want to visit 10,000 kids this year to inspire them in their school. So, uh, oh, cool. been on that. So, we already, vis- I already visited about five schools. So, uh, you know, it's great being with the young kids. They're feeling young. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> I think you probably answered that. Yes, I did. Can I guess it in advance? <laughs> that good, yeah? <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> okay, so how do you manage your time with all these projects and work and family? Right. How do you manage it? Um, well, I've got a great team. Um, so they do uh, most of the work. Um, so it's just a matter of me just showing up and uh, doing what I'm good at. So I've kind of outsourced all the stuff that I'm not good at, like planning and organizing and stuff. I'm really not good at it. So I get my team to do that. And um, so just stick to a schedule. Um, well, I take one month a year off, so that makes it easy. But um, I'll probably work 11 months a uh, year straight up. So. Whoa. <laughs> so, so in case you guys are wondering about the team, you guys can't see what's happening back there, but Dhananjay walked into offices like a whole entourage. <laughs> the only thing that was missing was the defenders and the bodyguards. <laughs> That's all that was so, missing. Oh, oh, my, my team doubles as bodyguards as well. So, oh. okay. <laughs> see? 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 <laughs> Dhananjay, tell us how it all started. Alright. Um, well, um, I probably wasn't the brightest kid in school uh, when I was growing up. But uh, a couple of events really changed my life. And one of those events that really changed my life was uh, me joining Toastmasters. Uh, that's uh, an amazing organization that focuses on public speaking and uh, leadership development. Right? So I just walked into a meeting, a uh, couple of senior members really saw my potential uh, and kind of dragged me uh, and coached me uh, and kind of nurtured the talent that uh, I have. But I never did debating or was never into theater, never discovered my public speaking skills in school. So it was like hidden. Uh, and uh, you know, just chiseled out. That's that's how it all started. Very nice. Yeah. Late bloomer, but look where he is. When yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Asna said, Dan just coming, I was like, oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> but we've probably done an interview before, right? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. But well, you know, this is on TV. I'm like, we <laughs> look like an utter fool with my. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move into rapid fire. Sure, go ahead. And you obviously have seen. Midweek manners and yeah. rapid fire is yeah. all about. Yeah. So three seconds, no biggie. Let's make it one second for Dhananjay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> Just because it's Dhananjay. <laughs> all right, Hasna, you can start. What do you value the most? Free time or recognition? And recognition. And why? Uh, because it adds to credibility, and today credibility is everything. Um, it opens up a lot of avenues, um, and uh, I'm all for credibility. Okay. Are there any laws or social rules that completely baffle you? Yes, there are. And which are? Um, I think uh, not being able to cross the street whenever you want is a law that baffles me. Um, another law that baffles me is uh, probably uh, the balloon test that cops use. Um, maybe another law that baffles me is um, I think, uh, I don't know whether I should say this on TV, but uh, same-sex marriage. I think that should be completely legalized. Legalized? Yeah. Okay. Have you ever stolen anything? Yes, I have. What? My wife's heart. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what is your guiltiest of guilty pleasures? Guiltiest of guilty pleasures, my god, okay. Um, <laughs> one second, then I'll give you one Having a cigarette in the toilet. <laughs> Worst piece of advice you have been given? Is to have a plan before you get into something. If you could pick um, the dumbest topic to make a speech on, what would it be? Dumbest topic uh, would be hugging trees. What do you do when you're not working? When I'm not working, I'm dancing. 
Interesting. Love dancing now. Can bust a move. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started. Can you twerk? Yeah, well, 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 I wouldn't try. But uh, you know, I started. I started my career as a professional dancer. So um, wow. I, I love ballroom dancing. Um, oh, I've, I, I competed in a lot of competitions when I was young. Um, but now, you know, whenever I get to do a waltz or a quick step or a tango, I'm on the floor. Man. So there's one thing. We, so there's one thing we didn't do our research about, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! Scandalous! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when you think when when awesome people like you come on the show, we obviously are going to try and spice the show up. So we got new segments. It's called the first thing. So, starting off with the first thing that comes to your mind when I say babies, diapers. Obama. False. Batman. Hero. SpongeBob is cooler than cool. Childhood. So when awesome people like this come on this show, yeah. things change. Okay. So we're going to give them a choice actually. We're going to give Anjay <laughs> a choice of what he wants to do last. Okay. okay, you have the choice of either rapping for us. Okay. Making a speech on the dumbest topic ever, mm-hmm. or making a speech on SpongeBob. SpongeBob is cool. That's three hard choices. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if I have to rap, how long do I have to rap for? You can go for forty-five seconds. Forty-five seconds. Yes. B. Oh boy. Okay, let's try this. Can you do a bit? Okay. I can score. Losing that Salambo on my boot drop top 56 on my block as up on my block. That's all I can get to, man. I don't know. Who's singing that? I think he was thinking for a minute there, I think. <laughs> very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Dan Shep, yeah. thank you so much for coming on the show. It's been fabulous having you. Before you go, I'm going to give because I love the work that you do. You inspire so many people. I'm going to give you the opportunity to tell the youth of Sri Lanka because there's a lot of youth that watches maybe yeah. madness. That's right. Like, I would like you to give them a message that they think needs serious addressing in this country right now. Okay. Um, you know, youth is a confusing time period. You know, uh, it's where uh, you know, you're neither a girl, nor you're neither a woman, you're neither a man, nor you're neither a boy. And sometimes what you're going through, you might feel like it's the worst thing that you're going through, but it will end. So um, a lot of people that I meet, they have so many problems that they feel that they don't have answers, but time solves a lot of things. So hang in there and uh, wait for that magical day when your troubles and all of the challenges will uh, wither away. It will come. So Goosebumps. <laughs> Goosebumps. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you so much, Dananji. Again, much. it's yeah. been fantastic having you this evening. Well. Well. And we will hopefully see you soon. Sure. Right. Time to go now. I know. <laughs> I, wish, I just wish that the internet would allow us to have, you know, more time for awesome people like you so that we can, you know, have like like a serious, serious, no, serious, ask that me. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> serious. <laughs> My. Okay, so we have to go. See you soon. Yeah. Bye. See you.